I don't think it would be cars and coffee without the coffee. All right, got the food packed, the coffee ready. Let's head out. One of the many reasons that the GTR is one of my favorite cars, JDM cup holders, baby. What is up guys? Welcome to today's video. We are currently heading over to Starbucks to go meet up. That's a green light. To go meet up with Kevin, Tej, and I believe Calvin's there as well. And we are all heading out to Cars and Coffee. This is gonna be the first ever time that the GTR goes to Cars and Coffee. So I'm actually really excited. And we're going to San Clemente Cars and Coffee, which is supposedly a very, very good show. So I'm excited. Let's go meet up with everybody. gonna be a sick cruise. Damn, this thing looks so good all nice and painted. All right, let's see. I don't know, is it acceptable to bring your own breakfast and coffee into Starbucks? I'm gonna do it anyways. That's prep life, boys. Oh, God, I'm leaking, I'm leaking. Is it acceptable hey. to bring your own coffee and breakfast to Starbucks? Six days out, got no cheating. Seven, exactly seven, seven days seven out. Day. What do we got for breakfast today? All right, you ready for this? We got two cups of egg whites, some spinach. You're turning into quite the cook. I'm enjoying all the little sneak peeks on Instagram. That's right, brother. That's right. Yum. You ready for this, Kev? What are you doing, First sir? First bite. It's like fresh off the skillet. Yeah. <laughs> I literally just made it before I came. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> is that your reaction every time? Mmm. Everything is good to me now. <laughs> Everything. about to pull in do cars and coffee i'm excited to see the turnout now i believe uh daily driven exotics is also going to be here and i know they are crazy so i'm definitely excited to see all of their cars too we haven't all been out cruising into like a, a car show cars and coffee whatever in so long it just feels like really good to cruise with everybody again especially in the gtr <laughs> Squad has made it. It feels good. It feels good. Okay, remember the last time we came here, there's nobody here. Yeah. And now, well, we got breakfast. I think we came when the show ended. Maybe. But now there's a, like a ton of people here. This is super cool. Gotta stop by and see the 240. This thing's crazy clean and original. Oh, it says turbo. Is it used to? That's so cool. Sick. Coming soon, guys. Seriously. GTR bill. This is the future, Kev. That's what's coming up in the car world. <laughs> It looks like you know, like one of those like old like like kids toy space yeah, guns does, where you yeah. like shoot. <laughs> Aston Martins are very weird cars, for sure. Ooh, okay. Okay. that's sick, man. I've really grown into like liking Porsches a lot, and I know that this is like a conversion, but this is super super nice. 
What so is this, this is a, well, this is like a GT2, and then like the RS is like you know yeah. the race spec. I don't even know what RS stands yes. for, but basically this I is like the conversion like kit, buy, like the wing, like the side and the fender. And like so rad. And everything. So yeah. It kind of starts out like that, and then you get the whole and thing. then you get the kit, and then that's how it turns into this. Yeah, that's cool. We have reached the land of daily driven exotics. If you guys can't already tell, that crazy livery. Oh, I like that. Kill rear tires. That's Dude, sick. This, this is a gnarly color combo. If I ever had to repaint one of my cars, this color 100%. If you guys watched the video when I dropped off the SI, the S2000 that I saw had this color. It is insane. Especially in person with all the uh, like the carbon fiber bits. It's literally perfect. All right, Kev, we did some good walking around today, right? Just good. It's all to get things. Something cool about this Cars and Coffee is it's at the parking lot of like an outlet mall and I actually need some new shoes, especially because I'm doing my summer shredding show and I want some like, I just want some nice shoes to go there and kind of like wear when I go to Alpha Elite and do the show and everything. So we're going to hit the Nike outlet and the Adidas outlet and try and get some new boots, boys, because these NMDs aren't doing it anymore. We need, some, we need, those dirty we need something trumps. new. We need something new, Kev. That's my GTR, brother. Nice. I love that hood. Is he, is he stunning on That's you nice. with that hood? Yeah, he is. That's sick. That's All right, first up, since the Nike outlet's right here, we're going to check out Nike and see what they have. I don't know. What am I right looking now. for? What am I looking for? Okay, so here's the thing, Doug. We're in an outlet. Outlets I don't know never anything. have any. There's nothing promised here. We'll look. Okay. We see anything? It's gonna be a lucky cop. I'm an I'm an amateur shopper here, get some but music. I've got my boys with me. We're gonna buy some new boots. I'll point you in the right direction. All right. No Adidas here, but Kev says I can flex on New Balances. I don't know if that's true. Successful cars and coffee, but unfortunately, I do have to leave. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I am officially one week, seven days out until my summer shredding competition. Today, I actually have a muscle scraping appointment and it's traffic is literally so crazy to get home. So we have to leave a little bit early. And I'm gonna take you guys along for the muscle scraping too, because it is gonna be a pretty cool uh, experience. It's supposed to make everything like pop and just like loosen my muscles up for when I get on stage and stuff. It's gonna be cool, so let's head home. That's the current situation to get home right now. 56 minutes. That's insane. All right, we're gonna head out. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Oh. We're so close. I can, I can taste the protein shake in my mouth right now. Almost there. Mmm. So, so much better. Oh. All right, finally got some carbs in me. Mule number two of the day. Berry and protein shake, as well as two packets of grits. Getting in these last carbs for today. It's gonna be a struggle, but changing to something a little bit more comfortable for my scrape appointment. I don't really understand how to describe what I'm actually doing at this muscle scraping. So once we get there, I'll have Scott explain everything to you guys and like what it does to benefit my body on stage. So let's head there. All right, we are back home. So unfortunately, I actually had my appointment at Steve's house and to respect Steve and his privacy, he didn't want me to film while we were in his house and stuff like that. So we are gonna do a follow-up video when I'm back from my show to show you guys like exactly what we did and to like best explain it, it was basically just a body reshaping to kind of open up my back, open up my shoulders. As you guys can see, like I'm already starting to bruise up just a little bit. He took one of those like metal blades and like scraped my chest, scraped my abs, so my abs actually look really really crazy right now over the next few days I will bruise up and it's supposed to on stage actually make my striations come out a little bit more and we open up my back open up my shoulders as well so I will follow up with a video on that later on but we are about to eat one of my favorite meals shrimp and some asparagus 
Ooh, it's still steamy. Peak week isn't so bad, I guess. But I'm gonna go and end today's video here. This was kind of just like a day in the life, a fun video with everybody in it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and hope you stayed this long because before I actually end, I wanna show you guys something. So since we are seven days away, I cannot have any artificial sweeteners at all. So I went ahead and picked up a few ingredients to make a homemade pre-workout. I don't wanna show you guys everything just yet, but, but if you are interested in seeing everything that I picked up to make like kind of like a homemade, homegrown pre-workout, it's nothing no. artificial and very natural pre-workout. Let me know in the comments down below and in the next fitness video that you guys see, I'll run you guys through exactly what I got and how to make this pre-workout that I actually think works a little bit better than the pre-mixed pre-workout because it is all natural and everything goes straight to your body with no artificial flavoring or anything like that. So, so let me know if, if that, that would be something that would interest you guys. I'm going to go ahead and end today's video here. I do have to cook up some meals for the week. I leave on Thursday morning at 7 a.m. to go to Houston. I am I'm so excited. Don't forget, Summer Shredding is June 29th along with my uh, Legends Media Drop where every $5 you spend, you get an entry to win a free trip to Garage Legends to come hang out with me, steal all the cars. We're gonna have a great day. So if you guys are in Houston June 29th and you wanna come to the show, tickets are available for Summer Shredding right now. I'll put the Summer Shredding link down below. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.